Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you're having a blessed and positive day. This is going to be another nature read. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are returning, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's take a few deep breaths. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Archangels, Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Divine Beings, and Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light, we thank you. Please connect with me now. Please come in and connect with me so that I may channel the current energies for the collective. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most High God, please reveal what needs to be known. Please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective at this time. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, they just got it, guided me to stop shuffling. And the bottom of the deck is trust inverted. Okay. So, wow, okay. I'm picking up the energy of someone that is having difficulty trusting that this situation, this person, this issue that you're facing is going to work out in your best interest, okay? That's the energy I'm picking up on. I'm feeling like you want to trust, like you've been praying. You believe in God. You know that God is working in your life, but there is some a slither of doubt in there, okay? So let's get some more on trust, okay? Behind trust is flow and success, and this is exactly what I thought, okay? You're like... I want to go with the divine flow to get to this place of success. I want to trust, but I'm having difficulty, okay? Behind that, we have isolation and rest. So these are the cards that they that we have coming out so far. Okay, behind that, thank you, Holy Spirit, we have mystery, okay? So what they're saying is, God is wanting you to trust, even when it's a mystery, even when you can't see the end of a situation, okay? Because when we don't fully trust, that's when we decide to step in and start uh, putting our two cents in God's business and doing this or doing that and as though we are helping God help us. But I feel like if you are being connected, God is going to guide you on how you can help God, if that makes any sense. God is going to send you signs and synchronicities to nudge you in a certain direction to do something, okay? If you are in a quiet period and you are in a waiting period, God just wants you to continue to pray and trust, okay? If there is doubt, there is a projection, a manifestation that you're un consciously sending to the universe and sending to God I don't think this is going to happen I don't think that this is coming if the universe and God see that you don't believe it that will be your reality okay so let's see if we can get any more on this situation Yeah, we have rejection and success, okay? So just as I was saying, you feel as though this situation is not going to happen, okay? <laughs> you feel this is doubt, being rejected, thinking that God is not going to grant you whatever this is that you want, okay? We have magic and illumination right behind that and hunger, okay? So this is like, God, I really, really want this with the hunger, okay? Okay? This is you, whatever manifestation you're trying to project. Okay, with the hunger, 
you're saying, God, I really, really want this, but you're manifesting a bit of doubt that it's going to happen, okay? So this is what's going to be illuminated to the universe, to the most high. God is gonna say, I'm a bit confused. I know that this person wants this, they just don't believe it. What's behind that? Faith, okay? Faith will push you into that trust and belief and the knowing that God is gonna do whatever it is that you need God to do, okay? Energy is coming up with the death, okay? So, as I'm touching this card with the death, I feel like there is a part of you with whatever situation that you're dealing with, I feel like a part of you has died with this situation, which is taking a toll on your energy. That part of your energy is stuck, I won't say in a low vibration. It's not a low vibration. It's just, it's like a melancholy state where you're not, you're not projecting any low vibration, vibrational energy, but you're not projecting high vibrational energy either. You're just like, they're showing me like a baseline. You're like right at the middle, even kill um, on the fence. Okay, so, and that is a very dangerous place to be, I have to be honest, because if you're on the fence, that is where you become really accessible to entities, low vibrational entities and energies, okay? They will have a field day with your energy if you leave yourself open in that way. So really try to work on energy cleansing and meditations um, as you guys have heard me say tons of times before uh, I'll just put the deck on pain and happiness right so this is like polarity this is like exactly what I said you're like right here in the middle and it's because of something that you've been through but we're going to tap in with the tarot and see what that's about but as I was saying in the the description box of all of my videos I've put together a video called light works goodie bag which is nothing but a little short video the the most important part of it is in the description box of that video there are tons of useful tools um, meditations inner child healing um, depression things how uh, tools to help you get out of that energy to help you get grounded help you cleanse your energy and there's nothing to it it's just there for anybody who needs it and it just kind of helps us to get through what we're going through so that we can stay positive on this path okay and as I shuffle back we're back on faith right this takes us to this place of having faith and trusting and knowing that things are going to be okay so keep your head up whoever you are whoever I'm picking up on there's a bit of sadness I'm feeling. Um, I feel like you're trying to stay as positive as you possibly can given the circumstances of whatever this is that you're going through. But we're just gonna help you. We're gonna pour love into you so that you can get over that hurdle and get to a place of peace, okay? So let's see here. We're gonna get into some tarot for you and then I'm gonna give you some angel messages too. Holy Spirit, let's pour some love into our loved one here. What should our loved one tell us about this situation that's plaguing our loved one a bit? What should we be aware of? What should we be aware of, Holy Spirit? Okay, as I'm shuffling, I just heard the unknown, okay? So this may be something that you're okay you're wanting to know <laughs> okay so it's not necessarily something that happened okay and then just i split the deck on eight of cups and this is your guys telling you to walk away from trying to determine the results of this situation ace of wands okay there is a new beginning here for you okay so they're saying don't worry just walk away from that mind state and trust that's why trust came out first but we're going to still get some more info for you. Holy Spirit, what is the message, please? 
okay we got seven of wands and nine of wands okay something you feel defensive about you feel nervous and defensive bottom of the deck ten of wands this is a lot of wands okay I feel and I split the deck on the two of wands it's like you want to know now what direction do I need to go in should I be worried with the nine of wands I'm heavily burdened with the idea of not knowing this is a lot of wands energy okay I feel like there's some person in the background I'm picking up on an energy that has some type of like a queen of wands in the reverse type of energy that's trying to manipulate a situation let's see what this is about yeah this person this is this person projecting some of energy onto you okay making you feel like you're gonna be stuck making you let's get into it holy spirit why is the nine of swords here why is the nine of swords here holy spirit Okay, we have Queen of Coins, okay, and the Hanged Man on the bottom of the deck with the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, yeah. There's an energy that somebody, somebody who views you as the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Pentacles, somebody that's very successful, somebody that's meant to be successful with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. With the Hanged Man, you're at a place where there is a decision that's being made you're stuck right here and that's why you're having a difficult time trusting how this outcome is going to play out because you have this energy here this five of swords energy that wants you to be in the nine of swords this person is jealous of your success this person is jealous of yeah death on the bottom this person wants an end to your success an end to your career this person wants you to be in this ten of wands this person is projecting a heck of a lot onto you, okay? So all of this that you're feeling is not your energy. So that's an indication that you need to cleanse your energy thoroughly and stay in prayer and meditation. I put that card back and shuffle and split the deck and this five of swords popped out again when I split it. This person is heavily competing against you, okay? This person has made it their, their life's work to beat you at everything. And just as I said that, there are butterflies all over. Birds, can you guys hear all of this? They, that's confirmation. They are, this person, this, there may be a lot more than just one person. But whatever it is you're doing, whoever I'm picking up on, you are the best or one of the best at whatever this is, okay? Everyone knows. It's like with the Wheel of Fortune there, show me, look at this. They can't stand it. A lot of negative low vibrational energies around you don't want you to get this may be like a promotion or a raise or um, maybe a new position at a new company I'm not sure exactly what this is this could even be something spiritual that you're doing that you're really good at but people look at you and we got the three of cups here okay but the energy I'm getting is just a group a lot of people around you recognize your abilities and they are threatened by it so they're projecting a lot of this ten of wands onto you let's get the outcome holy spirit what is the outcome of this situation <laughs> don't be upset if we get the three of wands because <laughs> the holy spirit may not want to release it at this time and i really feel like they just want you to get into the place of trusting but we're gonna see what they say okay the holy spirit and the spirit guys right now are just telling me urging me to tell you just to keep doing what you've been doing it's showing okay whatever this is that you're feeling right now once you cleanse your energy step back into who you have been 
that has you in this place of the Queen of Pentacles. Very confident, very certain of yourself, very secure and stable, knowledgeable, okay? Whatever this is, these projections are causing you to fall off on your confidence and it's, it's being displayed in how you're moving, how you're doing whatever it is that you're good at, okay? So don't allow these people to make you fall off is what your guides want you to know. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at this. I split the deck on strong. Okay, this is you. Don't let these people take you off of what you're doing. They're trying. They're gonna try it. They're gonna keep trying it. But it's all about you knowing who you are, and you're powered by God. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, we already saw the devil card coming out, so we know who they're working with. And look at the bottom of the deck. We got justice. Okay, so for a source behind that, so your guys are saying just chill, just relax. Get into prayer, get into meditation, regroup, retreat, release that energy, do your deep breathing exercises and, and meditations, and chill, okay? We've got this. Yes, these people are trying to tend towards you, okay? They're trying. We got behind that two of cups, though, okay? You are partnered with God. You are partnered with your angels, your spirit guides, okay? And I feel like there may be a partnership that's coming up or some type of merger or promotion or something to do with your, uh, what you do for work, okay? So this is in the upright. So whatever this is, it's going to be a good outcome for you. They want you to just get out of your head about it, okay? Come out of here. They want you to get that very motivated, excited energy that you started with with the page of wands is very excited young vibrant uh, you know just ready ambitious driven get get back into that energy okay you are protected there's nothing these people can do to you but make you get into your head and make you start thinking situations are what they're not okay final message holy spirit please and thank you final message for my beautiful soul family What's the message, Holy Spirit? Yep. Page of coins. They want you to... We saw the page of wands and the page of coins, okay? They want you back in that energetic space that you were in, where you were on top of it, eager, excited, very ambitious, ready to learn, ready to study, ready to do whatever you needed to do to climb to where you've been. You've already came up as the Queen of Pentacles, so you're far beyond this. But they just want you to get into this very happy, energetic, positive energy that you were in before. Okay? Yeah, what did I say? Oh my goodness, I can't make it up. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. Okay? <laughs> Oh, Lord, speak Holy Spirit. Okay, and they said, wait on God. That's what the Three of Wands is about, waiting for your ships to come in, okay? Behind that, hang man. They driving it home, okay? Just chill. Stay strong, okay? What's after that? Two of Pentacles. We, we're balancing this situation out, okay? Queen of Cups, okay? This is be dependable, be reliable, be stay in this happy positive nurturing caring energy okay they want you to stay lovable i just split the deck on the page of source let them watch you work which is what they like to do okay give them something to see and just stay positive because you know god is working for you okay balance things out with the temperance okay i love this thank you holy spirit anything else holy spirit look at this on the bottom they give you a little something. They said, let's give them a little something more. The emperor, okay? The boss, okay? That's you. There's your answer. There's your answer, okay? This is you. But it's all contingent upon how you see things, okay? If you don't get back to a, pa a place of being positive and fully trusting God and knowing, staying strong and knowing that you are going to be in this emperor position, then that is what you're going to manifest, okay? Okay? come out of your head don't let these people's dark energy come in and destroy your mind okay know know that you are meant for this okay it's your destiny we had the will of fortune coming out okay hold back they're saying refrain from engaging with these people there's someone here that wants to trigger you into a verbal disagreement or debate or argument hold back don't don't engage okay 
Yep, and again, Seven of Wands, okay? You're heavily protected, so do not worry about anything. Beautiful energy. You got this. You know you got this, okay? You just, these people are projecting. Energy cleanse, energy cleanse, energy cleanse. Prayer, 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 meditation, meditation, and meditation, okay? Archangel Michael has a message for you. Archangel Michael, we love you and thank you for your messages. What do you want our loved one to know at this time? Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward, okay? This is what they want to see. This is what your guides want you to do, okay? Don't be moved by this. Keep moving forward. Keep stepping into your power. You see how the energy on this person, this, this is the energy that they want you to embody. This is the main reason why they chose this card. Get excited. You are the queen of pentacles, okay? This is your destiny, your God ordained destiny, okay? Who's gonna stop you? Nobody. Okay. Deeper insights are at hand, okay? There's some tweaking and moving around that the most high is doing on your behalf. Okay. So be patient and trust. This card says this card is a number eight. Eight is all about abundance, okay? Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. Okay. So get into the energy of positivity of certainty, of knowing who you are, not in a cocky way, but in a, I am powered by God, God works with me, my angels are with me, I am protected, I am manifesting my reality, okay? They want you to get into that energy, that beautiful, confident, but humble energy, okay? And there's nothing that anybody can do, okay? And they're telling you, make a decision, are you going to prioritize these people by staying in the energy that they pr project onto you? Or are you going to get back to yourself and trust and know, okay? This is like the sword of truth. Tell yourself the truth. You know who you are, okay? I love you guys so very much. I really hope that this message helps you. Know that God loves you and God is always with you, okay? You just have to know that without a shadow of a doubt don't doubt okay until next time family peace and blessings i